Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy back with another unboxing. Today I'm really excited about this unboxing. Yo, this is the uh, watch. The, it says watch on the box, but clearly it is a iWatch clone. It is definitely a knockoff of the real iWatch. And from what I've read online and the videos that I've uh, seen, man, this is supposed to be the Cadillac. I'm talking the top of the line here, people. But this is the uh, model uh, MTK2502C. Uh, my camera's not focusing well here today for some reason. Anyway, there's a uh, 1.54 inch screen. Uh, there's a battery capacity. This thing says seven days standby. I'm almost guaranteeing that that's not legit. But anyway, uh, you can make calls, SMS, call reminder, clock, heart rate tester. Uh, sleep sleep tester, pedometer, sitting reminder, device search, remote camera, entertainment, other function, other functions like alarms, calendars, stopwatch, recorder, that kind of thing. Oh man, this is the business right here. Let's get that out of here. I need that. Oh, this case is kind of cool. Uh, that's kind of a thick, hard plastic. It's just all white all the way around it. No logos. No no way of identifying it other than the hole there on the top. So we just slide this top part off here. Let me make sure I see that. Boom. There you go. I know you see that, people. Yeah, so some piece of styrofoam or it's kind of like a rubber, almost like a mouse pad is what it feels like. Um, we're going to use it as a display. All right. That'll work. So in the box, you got the short strap and the long strap, and then you have the actual uh, watch here. Uh, the actual smart wire, so let's just kind of turn that over, see if we can get that out. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Look at that. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so this is the actual watch itself. Uh, on the back here, these are charging ports. Uh, in the middle, there's a green light that's supposed to work for infrared, not infrared, but it's supposed to work for like a heart rate monitor. Um, I don't know how green light translates into heart rate or how it measures it or Whatever the case may be, it pops a number on the screen when you use it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Even if it's fake, you know, to be able to do something like that, and, uh, you know, it's a novelty item. Around the uh, charging port here, it says watch, 45 millimeter. It says case. It says 6063 series. It says aluminum. It says 10N X glass. And then it says composite back. And then it has serial. And it has a serial number. Okay, cool. So that's pretty dope, man. I don't know how real this serial number is, but it has a serial number around here on the side too, which is awesome. Uh, also, here's a back speaker. These two are speakers there. Uh, this is your microphone uh, for in-voice calls. Uh, here's where your bands go. Uh, you would slide your bands here and yes people these are compatible with the official Apple bands so this watch will work with a Apple band that you buy from eBay, Amazon, uh, wherever your local retailer is even if you just went to the Apple store you can buy some of those expensive bands that will work fine with this watch anyway alright so uh, on the side here you have a power uh, button it's an on off button it's also a sleep wake button uh, you have a jog wheel here. The jog wheel turns, uh, as you can see, it'll turn here, but it doesn't have any functionality as of right now. From what they're saying online is that there should be an update, and the update would allow functionality with this wheel to scroll through the various menus, which would be a cool little feature to have. It'll make it more like the actual watch, uh, but you can press the button in uh, to make selection functions or what have you, so that's pretty cool. Um, the screen size, it says that it was 1.5, I believe, uh, in screen size. And if you can see it, I'm trying to tilt it so the light just hits it just right to where you can see it comes from that corner to that corner. Uh, but it's not all the way from edge to edge. But being that this is such a good quality screen, you can only see that in the light. Outside of light, you wouldn't really notice it. You would think that it went from bezel to bezel. but just something else you have to look for to uh, look out for when you're uh, looking at these watches. So here's your release for your 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 bands, uh, the top release, the bottom release. Um, 
Let's get those bands out. We'll set that right there. All right, so the bands. This is your short band. This is your one with your clip on it. Uh, your long band, just your long band. It feels the same quality. You know, it has a little metal piece in here that you guys can see. Uh, it's kind of a magnet. Well, it's just a metal piece in the band, but it's a magnet on a watch that kind of snaps it into place and makes that click. Pretty good. It's, it's decent quality. It's a really good build on these. Uh, the, whoever built these is putting some work. I don't know what the inside looks like, but the outside uh, looks good. It it's really feels great. Uh, inside this box you also have, let's see some stuff behind it, okay, alright, so you have your charger, I believe this charger is magnetic, let's take a look, there's a nub on this charger here, can you guys see that, there's a nub right there, that nub fits within this groove that's here on the, see that, yeah, so you just take that, and I believe it's magnetic, let's check it out, yep, there it is. So it fits up in there smooth, it aligns itself, it's a pretty cool thing. It's, it's like I said, close to the actual one. You can tell that this one is a little cheapy. Uh, look at the connectors on it, really kind of, I'm afraid that I may break that in a couple of days or so, so I got to be really careful with it. Not sure where I can find a replacement. Uh, but again, that has a magnet on it and that's your charging cable. On the other end, there is a USB port. You can plug it into your USB or if you have your little charge block uh, that you have with any of your other electronic devices that has the USB, removable USB, you can use those. It's fine. Right, so let's sit that over there. That over there. And uh, instruction manual. This instruction manual is one of the best clone instruction manuals I have ever seen. Uh, one, because it's totally in English. The whole thing. And this watch came from China. And the whole thing is in English. You see that? Every last word on here. And it gives some good detailed information about the, what the watch is, how it works, uh, how to set it up, what band goes where. I've seen a lot of people with the actual iWatch uh, and they have their bands on backwards. But it actually gives that information, gives you some Bluetooth notification information, and then there's some good literature on the other side that you can actually read through and find out cool things about this neat little watch. Man. Um, and this watch is a little bit more expensive than, say, a GT08 or a U80 or a A1 in any color, blue, green, white, red. But let's put the watch together and let's take a look and see if we can uh, figure out how it goes. Let's right, see what we think about it. Alright, so I'm going to start with the long band. The long band goes closest to the jog wheel here. Um, so you want to just try to make sure you can get that in as close as you can and as tight as you can. I usually press the button back here on the other side. That way I can make sure I get that good connection. Make sure that it's in there. We're good. And it fits pretty good, you know, there's, it's not sticking out on the sides, it's actually fit pretty flush, as you can see, that's dope. Uh, and then the short band goes on the other side, and it clicks right in there, it clicks right away. And so that's pretty much what your watch looks like, short bands down at the bottom, long bands here at the top. Nice, really nice, right? Really nice. Not bad, not bad at all. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate them sending me the watch. Let me do the review on it. That's an awesome thing. Let me take off the A1 blue, and we're gonna try to put on this, this one here. Let's see what we get. Earlier I said that, you know, the band goes on a certain way. It actually, you know, whatever you prefer, it's up to you. Uh, but according to the instruction manual, they want you to put it on this way. Let's turn that thing on. Let's turn that thing on. Let me grab my phone here real quick. All right, so there's a, wa a watch app that you have to download. And uh, let's turn on the, we'll turn on the watch first. All right, has the little... Welcome animation that says watch. Alright. And 
as you see right away it connected to my phone as soon as I turned it on it asked here message access request iWatch wants to accept uh, access your messages give access absolutely so I go ahead and give it access that way anytime that I get a message it'll send straight through to the watch for me you can tap the watch that'll wake it up um, I don't want to give you guys a full review, like I said, this is not a review, this is just an unboxing, but I did want to show you guys how it pairs with the actual uh, phone, uh, which is pretty cool, it's a pretty cool thing, uh, I'll show you guys the app, you click here, and that's what the app looks like, it's got the heart rate monitor, it's got your sport, which is basically your pedometer, up here you would set uh, your name, how tall you is, your weight. Uh, that way I'll keep track of it for you. Got your sleep and your anti-loss. This is the first watch that the anti-loss works every single time for me. Even when you don't want it to work. Let's say you leave your phone in one room and you walk off to the bathroom. It's going to tell you you walked off and left your phone. Uh, there's no way to adjust the how long or how far out you went. Uh, you can have this go. It's just a certain amount of time, a certain amount of distance between your phone and your watch, and it's gonna go off. Also, if you lean your hand back, I'm telling you guys too much. You know what? Subscribe, tune in for the next time. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure all your friends get to watch it. Everybody wants the new watch. Don't act like you don't because I know you do. And as always, peace together, not separate. Ah. Uh -huh.